Uh, you've already heard that the robot team at Cornerstone Christian Prep has had a fair amount of success. Three years ago when we started this, uh, thank goodness Ethan didn't know too much and Brandon and, and Cindy, because I had no idea what we were doing. I had never seen this competition myself. I had heard about it, thought it was a good thing. So why not? And they put together a really special team of young people. And they came and they competed and they competed well and they won our overall prize. That was fantastic. The next year they had graduated some of the leadership, but you know, still had a, a good core team together. Still had Cassidy there. So they came in and they won it all again. And then they went down to the regional at Auburn University and did pretty well. Another really special group of young people. Last year, in kind of Ethan's own words, that was kind of a rebuilding year. They had graduated a lot of their leadership, a lot of their talent, but they just hoped to do their best and won at Grove City College. Went down to Auburn University, as you've heard, won the overall there a really special group of young people. This year, they came back to Grove City College. Turns out they graduated a few, but still had a really special group of young people, and they won it overall again. This year, Auburn didn't want the competition, so they shipped us off to Fargo, North Dakota for our regional championship this year. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. But. The two by four eventually works on my head and you begin to say, you know what, we've got this really special group of young people and then another really special group and another really special group. And maybe there's a system here that's really special. But what really, really impresses me about the young people on this team is not the success I just described. As Christians, we know that that's good, that's wonderful, but their success is a lot more important than that. When Cornerstone comes to Grove City College, every young person on that team is polite, they are respectful, they are enthusiastic to me, to every other person on every other team there. When they come to Grove City College, they cheer hard for their team. And they bring posters and signs for every other team at the competition and cheer just as hard for every one of them. They have a young lady that stops our competition, takes the microphone, and gives an impassioned plea and unites the crowd to take a stand against bullying. Robots are cool, but there are things that are a lot more important in life. Every person on the team, they don't know it, but they are leaders. They come out there, they make every other team at my competition better just by being who they are. Mercer High School comes in second all the time. My wife teaches there, I have a, a niece there, I know a lot of people there, they're right next to us. But they love the competition. They want to be better just because Cornerstone is getting better every year. And most impressive to me, you get old sometimes, emotions uh, start to take over. Last year, after winning the overall, and, and I talked to Ethan, we were just blown away. We had no idea this was coming. A couple minutes later, they're up in the concourse of a Division I basketball arena with thousands of people streaming by. And they're huddled up giving thanks because they know um, where that creativity, where that ta talent, where that hard work ethic comes from. These are young people that love the Lord their God with all their hearts, with all their souls, and with all their minds. And they love their neighbors as themselves. I look at them and I'm amazed. A lot more importantly, Jesus Christ looks at them and he is pleased. Thank you.